there are a lot of very important angle relationships that we're going to look at. And in this case, we're looking at pairs of angle relationships, at least initially. And the first group is what we call adjacent angles. And they have a couple very important aspects to them. They share a vertex. So over here, if you look at B, um, this is the vertex that they might be sharing. They share a ray as well, and that would be our ray right here. So if we were to write um, adjacent angles, we might write them as angle ABC. That would be um, this guy right here. And angle CBD. That would be the partner beside it right here. We can see that uh, these two guys together, they meet the criteria. They um, share the vertex and they share the ray. And all of the uh, values, all of the values in the interior here are separate from all the values here. A set that would not work would be something like A, B, D, so this guy, and angle A, B, C. Now, why would these not work? Let's, let's show you the two of them. They still share the vertex B, yes they do. They still share a ray, in this case, BA. But where they go wrong is this business of no interior points. And we realize that the interior of this guy is in the interior of this guy. And so these are not adjacent. Another set of uh, pairs of angles are called complement or complementary angles. And these are guys that will add up to together to 90 degrees. And as it says here, make sure you understand that it may or may not be adjacent. So it may look like this where they are adjacent. Angle one and angle two together add up to 90. How do I know they add up to 90? Well, take a look right here. You see it adds to 90. So one and two would be complements there. In the other example, we see how uh, here they are not uh, physically adjacent, but these do uh, add up to 90, uh, 27, and 63 add up to 90. So these are also complements. So the word complement is a way to refer to those that add to 90. In a similar way, we use the word supplement in geometry to refer to the angles, a pair of angles, that actually sum to 180. So like uh, the previous example, it is possible for them to be supplement or not be. It looks like this diagram got cut off a little bit. And so uh, let me zoom in on it a little bit. Let's fix it up. If this guy here, let me just give this ray a little more distance. And if this was 105 degrees, these would be supplements. Why would they be supplements? Well, because the 75 here and the 105 together make 180 degrees. These would be known as supplement or supplement angles. Now, the next group is, uh, we will talk more about it in a second, but I do know that these are also supplements because together they form a line, don't they? This line right here we know is a straight angle. This is a straight angle. And so we know that this adds up to 180. This is also a set of supplements. We're going to give this a new name in just a second, but those are both sets of supplements. And understand what ultimately that means is that they sum to 180. As promised, I'm going to give that special group um, when they are supplement and uh, adjacent. So they are going to be called a linear pair. And this is when it is two things, not just supplement, but when it's adjacent, they're side by side, and they sum to 180. Both those must be true. 
and it will always look like this. And I like to use the phrase a lines pair as a way to kind of highlight the word linear pair. So a lines pair. So they are supplement, yes. Could you say one and two are supplement? Yes, a better term is they are a linear pair. A common question that gets asked about these is this one here. Are all supplementary angles linear pairs? That means are all angles that add to 180, are they linear pairs? And our answer is no. Um, and the reason it's no is because you can be a supplement uh, and not be adjacent to each other. Again, if I have an angle of 105, like the other example, an angle of 75, these are supplement, but they are not a linear pair. In reverse, it is true, all linear pairs are supplements because every linear pair does add to 180. That always shows up somewhere. The last of this type of pairs of angles are the vertical angles. And sometimes they're called opposite angles. You'll see why. Vertical angles are the ones that are formed by non-adjacent. So you know what adjacent means? It means side by side. So these ones will not be side by side. And they're formed when two lines intersect. Just like these two over here. See how these guys have intersected each other. So one set of vertical would be one and three. So angles... Uh, one and three would be known as vertical. Another set would be two and four. These also uh, would be two and four, would also be a vertical set. So we kind of have, um, in this particular uh, diagram, you, you get two sets. And again, sometimes they're called opposite angles. And you can see why, because they are kind of opposite each other or on the opposite side of each other. This is a good time also to talk about their value. As you know, uh, the vertical angles are uh, in this position here and here. And there's an obvious relationship here uh, that those angles, vertical angles, are actually indeed equal to each other. So the measure of angle one will equal to the measure of angle three. Also true the measure of angle two will equal the measure of angle four. And just to maybe give you a sense of why that would be, there's a couple of different informal kind of ways I can just talk you through it. Um, think about it this way, that one, a nice way to think about it, is a rotation of 180 degrees, right? If we rotate this angle right here, 180 degrees, it will land in this position and they will be equal. So that's one way to see it. Another would be to say, this angle right here and angle two add up to 180. You would agree with that. So these two add to 180. It's also true that angle three, I'll use a different color, angle three <clears throat> is uh, equal to angle two at 180 as well. Not equal to, but equal to 180. Because they're supplement to the very same angle, they must be the same, don't they? Let's just show you. Let's say, let's say this angle here was 100. Well, that would make angle 380. And what would it make angle one? It would make angle 180. So actually, it is true that vertical angles must be equal to each other. So just a quick example of this. If this is 41, the vertical angle would be 41. And as you know, um, this is a lines pair, a linear pair. So they add to 180. So this would be 139 degrees, a very quick and simple value there. Similarly here, these are also vertical angles. And we know that vertical angles must be equal to each other. So we would say something like 3x plus 18 equals 96. And then you would go through the solving process to find x. Another example here, this happens to be a set of complement angles. Why? Because this symbol means 90. So if I was solving uh, this particular problem, 
I would say 4x plus 3 plus 3x minus 4 equals 90. I'm not setting them equal to each other because they're not equal to each other. They're equal to 90. So this would become 7x minus 1 equals nine, uh, 90. And then 7x equals 91. And x equals 13 would be the value. Now I do want you to notice something here, and this happens, so don't get caught up with this. What's the largest angle? So what you actually are going to do now with your 13 is plug it back in. So this guy is four times 13 plus three. This guy is three times 13 minus four. And don't let the picture distort that, but you better check it out. This becomes 55 degrees and this becomes 35 degrees. So the answer is right here, friends. Be careful to make sure you answer the question. Let's do one final one. As soon as I see this, it becomes obvious that this is a linear pair or a lines pair. They form a line together. And so the relationship is that they are supplements. They must add up to 180. So I would say 4x plus 12 plus x plus 3 equals 180. Remember, the key to success in geometry is finding those relationships, not assuming that they're all equal to each other or whatever, but in this case, they, they have to be equal to 180. So this would be 5x plus 15 equals 180. And we solve this and we get x equals 33. Now back here at the question, notice it wants the measure of angle ABD, which happens to be uh, this angle here. So we are going to substitute in four times 33 plus 12, happens to be 144 degrees. This is my answer, uh, not x equals 33. Be careful to answer the question.